beauty. My name is Cody, Cody Fennell. Uh, I like to say it like that, like James Bond. He does the same thing, except he says his last name first. I say my first name first. It's a shame to see a vehicle like this. Another, another victim of drinking and driving. This is the old abandoned mine. Yellowknife, born and raised. Uh, yeah, I was a Calder Crescent kid, which I don't know if that means anything to people that aren't from Calder Crescent, but basically there was just like a slew of kids that all lived on that block when I grew up and we became like somewhat of a gang. There was a lot of pillaging people's houses. I think that we, a bunch of four-year-old kids, were the reason that uh, Houses in Yellowknife started locking their doors. Just um, had a, uh, a fire inside me, had to do some creative things, so um, one thing led to another, and now here I am. Did the poster for Spike Lee's documentary on Michael Jackson's bad. I'll have my name on the liner note. Never thought I'd have my name on some Michael Jackson stuff, especially after he died. My pal Nardwar gave a shirt design I made to Snoop Dogg, got a Snoop Dogg shout out. Called me his nephew, guess that means he's my uncle. Get him on my cowboy, yeah, that's new slang. Got a court to a cop, you can call me Vera Wang. Girls with Gucci baggage, yeah, minus red head advertising. I do a lot of graphic design, illustration. I started uh, directing music videos, and then, uh, yeah, um, I'm. What else do I do? I get inspired a lot by a lot of different kinds of people, but they're usually people that are telling me something or showing me something that I've never seen before, or just doing something like in a flawless manner that's awesome. I used to read a lot of comic books growing up, so that was like a huge like influence of different uh, comic artists, Todd McFarlane and stuff like that, reading Spider-Mans. That's where I came from. I do it um, from my apartment mainly. I, uh, I'm living in Vancouver right now. That's my think tank. So I'm just constantly sitting in there and trying to think of things or leaving that place because I can't think of things. Wherever I go, girls be flashing. Always smoking weed, never Definitely when I first moved to Vancouver, I didn't really know anyone, so I was, it, I was still hanging out with maybe uh, one person who you didn't hang out with in Yellowknife, but now that you're both in Vancouver, you're, you're suddenly best friends. So there was definitely a transition from Yellowknife into Vancouver. I remember I went like one, one or two weeks and the only person I talked to was the lady at Quiznos before I started like feeling comfortable in that town, just being myself and stuff. And all you can eat desserts like Uncle Willie's, hey. Growing up in Yellowknife, it just gave me like a ton of time to just be in my own brain and, and think things over a ton just because you kind of got to make up your own fun sometimes. You don't have an uh, influx of concerts coming in or even movies. Like it's, uh, you know, slim pickings when it comes to the people providing entertainment for you. So you got to kind of think of it yourself. Hopefully you can make something out of that.